Good morning, evening, or afternoon, my fellow reptiles. I am currently driving on the road, as you can see, in my brand new 2014 Ford Fiesta. For those of you who don't know, I was selected for the Fiesta movement. And what this means is that for the next seven months, I'm going to be driving places or doing things each month. I have a theme, and in this theme, I have to do some sort of activity, adventure, or thing. And for this month, it is fitness, and for the thing that I selected was to attempt to learn how to do what is known as joggling. Joggling is learning to jog and run at the exact same time. Um, I don't know how this is going to work, but I figured that because I already know how to juggle, that trying to jog and juggling wouldn't be super, super difficult, but it should be an interesting task. I'm also going to be teaching you how to juggle in case you've never... Uh, if you don't know how to juggle three balls, I will be going to teach you and then attempt to jog and juggle at the same time to see if it's actually a doable um, activity. So it was interesting because when I went, to, they flew me to LA to pick up this car and then prior to picking it up, it was a manual and I had never driven a manual before and I had to drive my manual transmission car from LA all the way from Seattle which is about 1400 miles and I made the, I did the whole trip in a manual transmission my first time and within tw within 20 minutes of getting off of the uh, getting onto the highway in LA I hit traffic and I was like you've got to be kidding me and then I was stuck in bumper to bumper traffic for about two hours um, and then once I got on the road driving a stick was pretty easy but I did stall it a couple times. Also, let me know in the comments below, would you like me to make a video on how to drive a manual transmission? Because I've already put about 2,500 miles on this car already, I think I'm pretty safe to say that I do know how to drive a manual now because I was kind of forced to drive one. Um, so now that I know how to drive one, would you guys be interested in me making a video on how to drive a manual? If so, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try to start this car in second gear. Put it to second. Rev the engine. Nope, just stalled it. It did not work. Let's try it again. There we go, look at that. Oh, I did it, I did it. Yeah, I did it. I started the car in second gear. There. It's, you, it's really actually, I don't think you should start the car in second gear like that, but I've been doing it because it's just easier to do rather than um, always start the car in first gear every time you stop. Because where I'm staying, um, where I'm staying, it's very, lots of stop signs. So it gets really, really annoying having to always um, stop the car in first gear and then move up the second and third and you know all that stuff so and we are home it is now time to attempt to jog and juggle for your entertainment be prepared for lots of fail so my mission this month was health and fitness and part of the health and fitness was I selected joggling um, mainly because all of the cool things that were selected for health and fitness were already taken so I was kind of left stuck with this one to pick so I'm going to show you how to juggle first and then after I show you how to juggle I'm going to attempt to jog run and juggle at the same time um, I really wouldn't call this a mission rather I think it's more of a challenge than anything but we will see how this works so first of all if you want to learn how to juggle people think it's really intimidating when I try to start juggling I thought it was intimidating. I was like, how do they how do they hold three balls and toss them back and forth? I just thought it was very, really hard. It's not. Um, it really is... If I'm not very good on hand and eye coordination, except for gaming. Um, but you need to have at least two juggling balls. Um, any size really works. Smaller usually works better. But essentially, I want you to visualize my hand here and a vertical beam in the middle of my hand. And then when you are attempting to learn how to juggle, that beam is in the middle of your hand and you want to throw each one of these balls up like you're wanting to throw it over the vertical beam. Um, it would be something like this.
something like that. Um, and the thing is about juggling is you want to be accurate. You don't want to go like this and you know swing, but your arm is going all the way around, and you're the, that's you don't want that. You have to keep it in a very singular type of motion that has a little bit of a oval shape to it, so your hand is constantly twisting and you're throwing upwards. One of the first things you'll realize is that it's harder to juggle um, with your non-dominant hand, which is the one that I suggest you learn first. The way that you know that you're ready to actually attempt to juggle a third ball is how long you can actually juggle with two. Um, and typically I would recommend if you can juggle two balls uh, for over 30 seconds, like so, do this for 30 seconds, like I'm doing right now, you will easily, can. it's you'll easily get in three really simple, just like that. And when you have a third juggling ball, you always wanna have two in one hand and one in another, and it's the same concept. You're doing the same thing, except this third ball is when you throw one up, you throw this one into it. So it's like one, two, see that? Look how I start. I throw up, then I throw the other one into the other hand. You know, you can get faster, you can get lower, um, I'll show you again, I'll slow it down a little bit. Up, and throw in. Up, throw in. Up, throw in. That's really all there is to juggling three balls. It's really easy to do. Um, and if you, again, if you can juggle two balls like that, and then two in the left hand, you're all jolly, um, but then of course there's the, the hard one, which I'm actually still trying to learn this, is attempting to juggle four, which takes a lot more coordinations. I don't have that coordination yet, but essentially it is, um, the balls actually don't cross one another. Like when you juggle with three, they cross, but with four, you they don't cross. Essentially you're doing the same pattern. You're doing two up, 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 like so, um, and I can't do that. And you just keep, you do ovals, and then when you're, it looks like you're actually throwing the balls in the cross one another, when in reality, you're just doing a pattern of two balls, two balls, two balls. However that goes like that. But now that I've shown you the, 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 the simpleness of juggling, starting with two, then add a third one in, I will attempt to show you how to jog and juggle at the same time. I don't know if I can. I have succeeded in attempting to do juggling. It wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be, but it looks even more ridiculous now that I actually looked at the video footage of me running and juggling. I honestly so see no real point life skill in learning to jog and juggle at the same time. But nonetheless, next month should be an interesting theme. I'm very excited for it. It will be a lot more interesting than throwing balls up and down and running. Um, so thank you guys for watching. My name is Mr. Repsion, also known as Daniel Solzbach. You can check out my Ford Fiesta profile in which I'm going to be traveling uh, on the West Coast probably the next few months. And you can see where I'm going to be located and where I may be uh, driving to. And if I have a chance, I would like to meet my, some of my subscribers along the coast of Oregon and California. So again, thank you guys for watching. My name is Mr. Repsion, also known as Daniel Solzbach. Peace the rep out.